Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another new video. Today we are doing a hobby box of 2021 OPG Platinum featuring four cards per pack and 20 packs per box. Most importantly, one hard signed autograph per box. So this will be the first time I've opened a hobby box of OPG Platinum. I have opened a couple loose packs that I bought. Got nothing special out of, but this is definitely the first since getting back into the hobby. This is the first hobby box I've bought. Picked this one up at the uh, local card shop. They happened to have it on the shelf today. I went in there having no intention on spending this kind of money. Saw it on the shelf there and couldn't resist. So this was 270 bucks. Um, the only reason they had it out, they plan on doing a, a break with these and uh, the break didn't sell out. So they threw some of these or two of these on the shelf and I think a box of SPX too, which I may go back and get that. Well, that's 300 more dollars. I don't know if I want to spend in, so we'll see. Platinum's just an awesome set. I just I've loved Opeachy cards since I was a kid, obviously, back when I used to collect when I was young. Pretty excited when I saw this on the shelf. I definitely had to get it. I had no like I said, I had no intention of buying anything in particular. I definitely didn't have any intention of spending almost three hundred dollars. You don't get an opportunity to grab these off the shelf very often anymore, so I figured I would do it. Yeah, platinum's pretty parallel crazy. Ten or eleven different parallels of the base cards. Rainbow, violet pixels, matte pink, cosmic, red prism, seismic gold, orange checkers. That's hobby exclusive. Emerald surge and golden treasures. Usually gonna get well, you're guaranteed one, you're guaranteed one autograph. You get five rainbow, two sunset base parallels, two numbered base parallel six retro cards one retro rainbow yeah so basically the the autograph autograph cards pretty much in the low numbered parallels are what you're going for uh pretty good draft class this year of course uh Kaprasov is sort of the number one guy I'd want to pull uh Lafreniere although his stock has kind of fallen lately he's not had the best season this year pretty good Stutzla as well maybe in a Jelkovic or something like that so reasonably loaded rookie class and uh, very nice cards let's get into this one and uh see what's been hiding in here I'm fully prepared to have thrown three hundred dollars in the toilet I guess you kind of have to be prepared for that with this hobby in general. This isn't like insanely high risk, but obviously the risk is still there. It is officially, as, as to this point, and since getting back into the hobby, the most money I've spent on a hobby box. So hopefully we get some kind of return. All right, so we got 20 packs, 24 card packs. There's Sid on the cover. All right, first, OPG Platinum. All right, so you're nice shiny, very chrome-esque base. We've got Pasternak, got a Jack Eichel, and we got a retro of Tyler Sagan, and a marquee rookie of Michael DiPietro. Yeah, the uh, one time, the one, I've opened one or two loose packs that I think I paid 12 bucks for a pack, and it had a retro of like Bo Horvat in it or something. So, I mean, that's, that is the risk of buying a loose packs. You get this insert, uh, much better, much better to spend the money on a hobby box for sure. All right, Braden Shen, Anthony Mantha, another retro, a retro rookie, Josh Norris, one of Ottawa's Hot prospects. Uh, Ottawa's not doing the best this year, but the rookies are looking okay. So they've got they've got a they've got some hope for the future. And uh, you know, Mr. Ryan Reynolds maybe behind the team. At least got some. Uh, that'll make things interesting. Can't wait for that show to come out. And behind him, Marquee Ricky uh, Stephen Lorenz. So Josh Norris. Rookie Retro there. I haven't actually watched any of Ryan Reynolds' uh, soccer show, Football. But I've heard it's awesome. It's not to check it out. I just don't have much time to watch TV these days, you know, unfortunately. Kids will do that to a guy. All right, so we got his first insert some kind here. So the Matthew Tushek, uh behind that is a marquee rookie of Ian Mitchell, and that's numbered to 199. So red prism of Ian Mitchell. And behind him was a Connor Ingram marquee rookie. Morgan Riley, got Jean-Gabriel Pajot, uh, Dylan Cousins, marquee rookie. That's a rainbow, right? I believe that's rainbow from Dylan Cousins. I uh, want to follow those good prospects, and there's Jonathan Quick. So Cousins, he's playing this year. Here's name mentioned all the time. Buffalo's actually doing okay, which is nice to see. There's Cousins. All right, Alex Peterangelo. Peter Angelo. We got a Brandon Hagel, a Ricky Retro, Roman Yossi, and a Marky Retro of Ian Mitchell. So we got Ian Mitchell in a Red Prism and then his, his regular Ricky. So Brandon Hagel, rookie card there, Retro. Okay, Seth Jones. Behind that, we've got a Violet Pixels, I believe. Sebastian Ajo. So to three and a bet by the pixels to so three ninety nine. Carolina's off to a decent year this year. Oh, he's one of the better players, obviously. So that's a cool card there. And then we got a Nick Robertson marquee rookie he's playing well. I wish uh, Keith would play him more. And Zach Rensky out for the year. Sucks for Columbus having such a rough time. Uh, but yeah, Robertson's having doing well. And uh, Keith just needs to play him more. He's a good player. Victor Olsen, Alex Iafalo, got a Brock Besser, like a rainbow there, and Sam Reinhardt. Yeah, rainbow. All right, so we got Jake Gensel. Uh, best of the world of Alexander Barkov, a marquee rookie of Igor Sharangovich, Igor Sharangovich, and Galli, Brendan Gallagher there. So best in the world, and the one of these days I'll remember it's Igor, not Igor. All right, so we got Nazem Kadri, of course, no longer there. We got a rookie, or sorry, we got a retro of Nico Heischer, and Sean Couturier, Matt Pink. So Matt Pink, not numbered, just an insert, and then marquee rookie of Kelgan Turkov. Hope we just don't get bent over too hard on the auto. Matt Duchesne. Zach Cassian, another Sebastian Ajo retro this time, and Anilius Roken, Marky Ricky. So Roken's off to a good start of his career. Starting most games with the out in the islands, so good for him. 
All right, so we got D-Boss there, Dylan Larkin. We got Philip Forsberg, and we got a marquee rookie, Rainbow, Dylan, Dylan Coughlin. I guess prospect D-Man there. And then behind that, rookie, marquee rookie of uh, Pierre Oliver Joseph, another defenseman. All right, so Kubalik. We got a sweet selections of Peyton Krebs. And we got a Nuge and a marquee rookie of Alexander Alexiev. All right, Logan Couture. Logan Couture, Sean Couturier. Got a Connor McDavid, Sunset. So I always love pulling McDavid on any card. So there's McDavid on a Peach Platinum Sunset and a Marc-Andre Fleury. Oh yeah, we got Darnell Nurse. Uh, another another Sunset there, a Barkov. This is Barkov Sunset, flipped upside down. Then we got a Drew Doughty and a Marky Ricky for Thomas Harley. All right, so we got Carter Hart. We got a Dougie Hamilton, Rainbow. We got a Marky Ricky, uh, Philip Broberg. Currently not playing on the others, I believe. He's down in uh, Bakersfield. And Kelligar. Who I'm sure Broberg would aspire to be. So far, nothing too special. That McDavid Sunset might be the coolest card we've pulled so far, so if our auto changes that whenever it shows up here. James Van Riemsdyk, a PK Subban, a Calvin Turkoff, Ricky Retro, and an Adam Fox. Last four packs here, getting down to it. So we got Hot Dog Phil, Iron Man Hot Dog Phil, Mark Giordano, uh, Patrick Kane Retro, and a Philip Kurashev, Marky Ricky. All right, Claude Giroux, Dougie Hamilton, and all right, well, Matthew to Chuck. Red Rainbow Auto. Kind of makes me laugh to pull it to Chuck. As an, as an Oiler fan to pull it to Chuck. Um, mixed mixed emotions. It's a he, he's a he's a superstar, whether you like him or not. It's a cool auto. Uh it's a nice signature too, actually. The red rainbow auto. Um Yeah. There's Connor Hellbuck. So uh yeah, there's a to Chuck auto. Um don't really know how to feel about that. I guess uh, if it's worth some money, I'll be happy on it. I guess to have some value there, but uh, kind of an odd one, especially when they, especially when the player leaves the team. Like, is this? Do, do a, does a Calgary person want this? Probably not, right? You feel you're pissed off at the Chuck. Does a Florida person want this? I don't know. But anyway, here's a Matthew to Chuck Auto on the uh, red rainbow. Yeah, I feel like it's, I feel like it's probably like a sixty dollar card. So I mean, we're definitely not gonna make our money back on this box. But hey, the the, the entertainment value is what I want to do it for. If realistically, I know I'm never gonna make my money back usually. So here's to Chuck. Yeah, definitely be the title of this particular video, Mixed Emotions. All right, Johnny Hockey, uh, Austin Matthews, best in the world. A marquee rookie of Tim Stutzla. We'd rather had, Tim Stutzla would have rather had assigned one of those, but anyway, there's it, kid. All right, last pack of, of the only 20, 20, 21 OPG Platinum I will probably open. I'll probably get a box of that new stuff whenever it comes out, I'm sure, but this will be the last one this year, that's for sure. I did have another one at the card shop, but... Okay, Joe Pavelski, we've got a Claude Giroux, Rainbow, of course now in Ottawa, Marky Ricky of Pink Krebs, and a Colin White. All right, so here we are. Just the standard stuff. The awesome match, best in the world. Yeah, nice enough card. Other than that, though, Conor McDavid. Conor McDavid actually, sadly, is worth damn near as much as I bet that. Um, probably damn near at least half as much as that to Chuck card is, I bet. Sweet selections, Peyton Krebs. Cool card. Some retros. Pink. The best in the world, the Barkov. And another rainbow. So, out of these ones, definitely the McDavid is my favorite. Well, Matthew's best in the world is cool, too. And a marquee rookies. I've never really checked. To see if these really have much value. I think they're pretty common, so I don't think they do, but Stutzla's nice. Broberg is no other fan. Broberg is nice, cool to have. And we had one one rainbow marquee rookie of Dylan Coughlin. Nick Robinson's also nice. Sue Sorokin's good. So some decent uh, decent guys on here. So Cousins Rainbow's nice. I just don't know uh, if these have much value, but and a couple of rookie retros as well. Brandon Hagel, Rainbow, rookie retro, and then Kelvin Tokyo. I put Norris in there already. I don't know if I'll keep him in a ah, yeah. He'll stay in there. I like Norris. Norris is a good rookie. So there's those guys. And our two numbered cards, we got the red prism. I do like that they actually put on there what it is, because it can be confusing when you have this many, uh, there's like like artifacts, it has like a thousand parallels, and you got to look it up, and you just have no idea. And the colors all look the same. Some of them, like, there's like three versions of orange, one's called autumn, one's called orange, like it's crazy. So you got the Ian Mitchell red prism to 199 there, and then we got the Violet Pixels of Sebastian Ajo to 2 $3.99. So there's the Ajo. And then, of course, the autograph in this one, that guy. As we call him in oil country, the turtle. Now, of course, on the Panthers, the $274 box of OPG Platinum from 21, 2021 that I couldn't resist and uh, probably should have, let's be honest. But still, I love opening cards. That was still a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy this and you'd like to see more of this and would like to maybe one day help fund ridiculous purchases like this, uh, hit that subscribe button, like the video, hit the bell icon, check the next one when I waste more money on stupid crap and have more mixed emotions. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.